Hi, my name is Aston Bartholomew. I'm a senior electrical engineer major here at the University of New Orleans. I'm from Avondale, Louisiana. And I'm Brandon Moore, also a senior in the electrical engineering program here at UNO, and I am from Beaumont, Texas. And today we're going to talk to you about IEEEM, the Introduction to Electrical Engineering Education Module. What IEEEM is, is it's a series of educational modules meant for you, the students, to expose you to electrical engineering concepts there while you're still in junior high and high school to get a feel of what it is to be in the field of electrical engineering. Exactly. So the biggest question that we're going to ask today is, why is math so important? Uh, I know a lot of students in junior high and high school, such as myself, ask uh, plenty of times to myself, why are we learning this? Why is it important? And, and with, with, with this series, with these uh, experiments, we want to show you uh, how you're going to be using your math you're learning now uh, in the future in a university setting to learn basic stuff such as circuits for engineering. Okay, um, We're going to teach you about um, what, you, what you're going to be taking now, what you can focus on, and also what you, what you can expect into the future later. Yeah, so our overall goal today is to expose you to what's coming up in college. We don't want you to get hit with a ton of bricks thinking, hey, I want to take an engineering program, I want to get my engineering major, and then you turn around and see this extremely math-intensive program that you really weren't prepared, that you didn't prepare for in high school. Right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to kick it right on off. We're going to show you some programs that you want to take while you're still in grade school, and then we're going to show you what's coming up further on down the line, because it's not just math. You've got some physics going along with there, too, and it's going to carry with you all the way through. So let's get started. So here we go. I triple E M. Yes. <laughs> Algebra. Yes. Uh. Aspen's got that real pretty curly <laughs> hand right now. Okay, so algebra, geometry, trigonometry, calculus, physics. Uh, those are some classes that you are going to see in high school that you may think are pretty aggravating that you don't know why you're learning it yet. Uh, hopefully through the experience we can show you uh, why it is important and if you're interested in such as like an electrical engineering degree, uh, why this will help you in the long run. Okay, uh, I know that it's, it's, it's scary that you start seeing letters in math problems now and whatnot and you have to start solving for different variables, uh, but that is going to be your engineering career later on. And uh, don't, definitely don't, don't get upset or scared if, if it gets a little too difficult or whatnot. Uh, Everything can be broken down to a simpler process, and hopefully that, you know, with that uh, being in mind, that you actually start enjoying math uh, based off of when you uh, apply it to an actual problem that you can see, you know, function operate, okay? So now we get to the college portion. And before we get to the college portion, we want to highlight two areas of math that you really want to pay attention to. Actually, three areas of math mm -hmm. that you really want to pay attention to in high school. If you can take calculus, Take it and pay attention. Definitely. This one, right here, you're going to wind up carrying through your entire engineering program, whether it's mechanical, electrical, yeah. civil, naval. Every last one of these has a lot of this in there. You will see this a lot. So if you can take yeah. this in high school, pay attention to it. Exactly. And, of course, your calculus, in the end, breaks down to your algebra. So if you get the opportunity to take some algebra, take some algebra. Definitely. So how about we move on to the college courses? Yeah, for sure. So what you're going to be taking, at least here at UNO and probably many other places, mm -hmm. is yeah. two semesters of calculus. Yeah. Actually, wait, there's more. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, right isn't that bad, Brandon. It's pretty good. You try hard enough, right? <laughs> I write very tiny, so <laughs> excuse me. Okay. Calculus three, multivariable right. calculus. This where you get into spheres mm -hmm. and this is a whole bunch of three three, three dimensional, dimensional. <laughs> right. Three dimensional. Right, uh, hopefully you took trig in high school, so you won't have to worry about taking it here in college. If given the opportunity, to, though, I'd recommend going ahead and taking a college trigonometry, but so I'm not going to write it twice. Right. And, of course, these classes in college and in high school as well, they kind of build off of each other. Um, so... We're actually writing these in the order that you actually take them in, in the uh, curriculum as well here at the University of New Orleans uh, because you can actually build one off of, of, off of another. Correct. So moving along to differential equations. Now every engineer, every engineering program at minimum has to take these four maths. Electrical engineers, however, we've got one more to go. <laughs> right. Fun stuff. You thought algebra was fun when you just have to deal with an X and a Y. Right. How about algebra when you're dealing with matrices? Right. And what matrices is, is pretty much just, a, you might have seen it before, maybe not, a grouping of numbers, okay? It's kind of like a group of numbers in like brackets uh, that can, you can actually do a lot with, okay? At first, I didn't realize how important it was until I started using it to solve problems, so... Uh, doesn't pay attention to linear algebra, it can help you in the long run, especially for electrical engineering. Absolutely. So moving on from there, this takes care of our maths. Mm -hmm. So now we have our sciences. Right. And we'll bring right now is physics, okay? <laughs> Not just one. <laughs> okay. Oh, I have two. And that's, all, that's also not all the things I've got to take as well. Uh, but this is a calculus-based physics here at the University of New Orleans, uh, and that every engineer has to take is a calculus-based physics. Like I said, again, uh, you will take calculus first, and with that, you, can, you are then allowed to take physics. Actually, don't forget, with all STEM, that's your science, technology, engineering, Math mathematics mm -hmm. classes, any one of those, you have to take this calculus-based physics. You don't get the, the nice, fun, happy, feel-good physics that does with <laughs> algebra. No, you got to deal with the calculus-based physics. Really a great class. You learn a lot. We recommend it. Actually, you learn a lot in all of these classes. Yeah. And we recommend you putting forth the effort into them while you're there because in the long run, when you get toward your senior year, it's really going to help you out. Mm -hmm. You won't have to remember, oh, how do I manipulate sine into cosine and vice versa. Right. Exactly. So Aspen, I think this covers all of our basic math and sciences mm -hmm. that you're going to be exposed to, at least at the electrical engineering program here at UNO. Yeah, exactly. So guys, this, you know, engineering is a very math heavy, very science intensive program. Right. So be ready for it. Take what you can in high school. Mm -hmm. If you can't get it done in high school, Take it here in college. Exactly. Uh, with all these classes, uh, it is pretty much just building a, a foundation uh, for the students to get ready for, you know, the, uh, the more demanding engineering courses, okay? Uh, you're going to use all of this, actually, in an engineering course at some point uh, in your curriculum, okay? So uh, I know there's a lot to, you know, memorize and to learn, uh, but definitely it is doable, okay? Like I said, they all build off of one another. So if you can understand one or two of them, you can understand all of them. Okay, uh, you got to put the work in. And one thing, you may not get it the first time around, but that next semester after you pass and move on to the second one, it may make total sense to you. So if you don't get it, if you don't really fully grasp it and mm -hmm. can put it into really good work the first semester, by your second semester when you're taking calculus two, you'll be like, oh, I know how to do this. Right. Like right. It, it clicks. So don't exactly. be too hard on yourself. Just put forth the effort, find you a good study group, find you a good study buddy, and you all work together and get through it together. Yeah, definitely. So let's move on from there. Our next step, I guess, is 
wipe the board off. <laughs> right. Uh, so. Now, in addition to these classes, obviously you'll be taking some other ones. You'll have circuits one and two at minimum, mm -hmm. electronics one and two. Yeah. You will have more than likely some programming classes. Pay attention right. to those programming classes. Guys, programming is the future. It really Hands is. Hands down. Yeah. Even yes. in power distribution systems, like mm -hmm. you're the electricity coming into your house, on the transmission and generation side, there's a lot of programming going on nowadays. Yeah, you should see some of the control rooms for these power plants. Exactly. Amazing. <laughs> right, love it. Uh, you'll, uh, if you are a, a power or communications um, concentration for electrical engineering, you might have to take what's called electromagnetics, okay? Um, that's pretty cool stuff, actually. That's more of the physics two side of engineering, uh, learning about uh, like EMF, you know, electromagnetic forces, and pretty much how you can, you know, create or you know, like power up something by just using induction and uh, you know, pretty much um, the movement of, of of parts to pretty much create a voltage to power something, which is pretty cool. So, absolutely, yeah, definitely. So, guys, that's going to wrap up our introduction here for IEEE M. We thank you for checking us out. Go ahead and like and subscribe to us because we're going to be posting some more videos for you guys later on to deal with not only our experiments but also some tips and tricks to help you get through college while you're there in high school.